Hey, this is Father Robert Ballos here from Gadget at thetechstop.net. You know the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're still here at the Hot Stage Warehouse in California, but uh, we're going to do something a little different. This is the first in a series of videos I want to call Interop Makes You Smarter. And I'm with one of the undoubtedly smartest of the smart people in Interop. This is Mr. Neil Allen of Fluke Networks. How much do they have to pay you for that? A lot. I, okay. I'm not cheap. Anyways, Neil is the author of Network Maintenance and Troubleshooting. It's a guide for people who want to know everything about everything to do with every kind of network. But we're going to start off with something a little bit more simple. Now, that is the difference between multi-mode and single-mode fiber. If you've done any sort of networking in the past, you know that there's this term, multi-mode, and this other term called single-mode, and you might vaguely understand that there's a difference between them, but Neil's going to explain what that difference is. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, hopefully. Now, Neil, multi-mode, single mode, why do I care? Why do you care? Uh, primary reason for caring would be the cost of the electronics that go with it and the cost of the fiber and termination and such, but perhaps more importantly is the distance that each will take your signal. So if we use single mode cable, the light is able to propagate further and make your a longer network link than with the multi-mode cable. And the propagation issue is kind of the whole naming thing with the single mode versus the multi-mode. The multi-mode cable, uh, first off, a mode for fiber is a path that the light is going to take down the fiber. So with single mode fiber, obviously, single, single mode, path. one path, there we go. The light will go down right down the center of the core, it does nothing else except travel down the fiber and reach the other end, hopefully the way we sent it. With multi-mode fiber, and I have an orange one here, which designer colors these days, it could be any color at all, but uh, the green, or teal, aqua, aqua, aqua one is uh, 50 micron, this is 62 and a half micron, this is, depending on who you read, 8 to 10 micron, quite small. The multi-mode fiber for the Photons traveling down at that wavelength is like a very large, you know, shoot it down a big bucket with a small fiber. It gets to bounce around because there's plenty of room there for it to work in. So when it, it bounces around there, we have, we have a second problem occur, which um, results in a, in a uh, parameter called dispersion. The longer the path that the light takes down the fiber, the uh, more separated in distance, it's going to be at the far end when it arrives. So that the pulses, when they start out very clean, just a big bright pulse, when they get to the far end, they're kind of a rounded bump, because some of it goes straight down the fiber and reaches the far end really quick, and some of it takes various bouncing paths, different modes down the fiber, and tends to come in the bell curve a little bit, where you get the bulk of the the light arriving from various bouncing and then stuff that really took extreme bouncing paths arrives late. Dispersion causes the pulses to blur together so you can't read them, can't tell them apart. You got lots of light, but you can't tell the pulses apart. So you get cleaner light with single mode, which means you can go further. Yes, oh, important okay. fact. Okay. Now, that all makes sense theoretically. I mean, we could read that. We could go to Wikipedia and look up single mode versus multi-mode, but in your book, you suggest another way to uh, understand this, and that is that the, the way that visible light travels through these will be affected just as much as the invisible light, the visible wavelengths. That's correct. Even though the wavelength is a bit wrong, we use, for troubleshooting fiber, we use things called uh, visual fault locators. And it's just a bright laser light. It's a laser so you can see it. Yeah. It's in the, in the frequency band, the, the wavelength band of light that people can see, uh, whereas all, repeat this, all of the network fiber runs on wavelengths you cannot see. If there's light there, it's just coincidental. Do not look into fiber with remaining good eye. <laughs> oh, you get some LASIK. Going yeah, on. not good. Okay. So show me how this works. All right, we'll show you how it works. So I plug this into one of the fiber ends, mm -hmm. oh. and lo and behold, coming ah. out the far end, have a look at that. I've got the light. If you were to focus this on the table here, okay. you'll see kind, kind of an pattern. odd pattern of light now, if our theory is correct, if we modify the path that the light took bouncing down the fiber, it's going to change the pattern there. So if we make the most tiny little bend in the fiber. How about that? You can barely see my fingers moving here. 
yeah, the yeah, pattern, the pattern is, changing quite is a bit. altering there where he's focused. Oh. And of course, the more change you make, um, well, it's not good for the light. Well, because you're just changing the way that the light's bouncing, and so of course it's going to show up different on the other That's side. That's correct. Okay, so this is multi mode. That's right. If what? we were to do that with single mode, okay. you will have almost no visible difference. Now, granted, this is the wrong wavelength of light, so we're going to have uh, a little bit of bouncing, but you do the oh, wow. same thing okay. here. So it's much, it's much, kind much of a very, it's round. very <laughs> smooth, homogenous, mm -hmm. no special pattern there because it all kind of came out at once and just hit the center there. And you can bend this quite a bit, wow. and there's almost no difference whatsoever in the light pattern. The only difference there is is because we're using the wrong wavelength light, which is a short wavelength, which can bounce just a tiny bit on this fiber. Visible proof that there's a difference between yes, multi-mode and single-mode. The other thing you can run into when you're bending these fibers, we tell you not to bend it because the obvious stuff, you'll break it. Mm -hmm. The other thing that might go wrong is, well, might go wrong, it will go, it will wrong, go wrong, is if we were to bend this fiber, you'll have light that doesn't make it around the corner, and it actually comes out the side. Now, on this particular <laughs> fiber, That's not good. the jacket is slightly translucent. So if I bend it a little bit, we can actually see some of the light there it is. on the corner right yeah. here, yeah. Where, where it bent. Oh my God. Obviously, we don't want to bend it so much to break it. Yeah, because if you've got light coming out of the insulation, it That's means it's not coming thing. out the end. That's right. So right. we have there less light to work with. Not a good thing. Well, Neil, thank you very much for the fiber fun. Uh, you're going to be back to teach us more from your book, Network Maintenance and the Troubleshooting Guide, available now. So you rush out and get it. It's, uh, it's actually it's sort of a must-have for every major networking geek. And uh, stay tuned, because we're going to bring you more Interrupt Makes You Smarter. I've been Father Robert Ballas here. This is Neil Allen, and you just got learned.